Hello everybody, I'm Serti, and welcome to Satisfactory. Uh, Upload 6 Experimental. Now I wanted to delay until the stable version came out, but uh, I couldn't wait. Um, they're dragging their feet a little bit. So, we're going to hop into a new game in Update 6. And when it becomes stable, we'll sort that out. We'll just play a carry on playing. Alright, so... Uh, the different biomes, you've got the grass fields, the rocky desert, and the dune desert. All of those I'm going to skip because the very best starting location in the entire game happens to be in the northern forest. So we're going to do that. Uh, it's not the easiest, um, but actually it might be. Lots of pure stuff around. Um, if you're starting out, uh, the green, uh, the grass fields would probably be best for you, just to give you a little little bump up um teach you the game and uh, not too many enemies and resources scattered all over the place but i mean once you watch this video you're uh, you're likely to start in the northern forest because there's a starting location which is great um, that you can actually use for quite a while so without any further ado um we're not going to skip the on the, the intro um because I'm sure there are a few new players that haven't seen this, so I'm going to let it go. It's a little bit of a drag on time, but let's go. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. In the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. From Earth. Widespread chaos and Warning. mayhem. Planetfall resident urges all citizens to do during their part procedures. alien artifact. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, Ensure the integrity of your multi purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Right, welcome to the planet. Um, Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. Thanks, I'm, I'm just going to skip that. Objective based introduction initialized. Well okay. We are. Okay, as with most of these type of survival games, gathering whatever you can as quickly as possible is always a good thing. Okay, I just get out of the drop pod and I... This is ridiculous, man. Why is that happening? I, s I just want to... Alright, I'm out of here. 
Well, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Oof. Okay, so we're going to head west and pick up things on our way. Are these guys still following me. Data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Oh. Holy crap. All right, well, that started nicely. Never had that before. I'm going to get left in peace at least for a while. All right, where am I? Oh, these, these guys are following me. Um, okay. Well, let's see if I can find an escape route. Okay, maybe this is an update 6 thing, but I feel like these guys are a lot more aggressive than they used to be. Uh, and I'm already pretty low on health. So, out of here. Did I get away from them? They're still following me. Come on. If they're still following me, I'm in big poop big up here. All right. The sounds have died off. No, they haven't. These guys are still following me. It's insane. Gather, 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 gather. Okay, now the area that I am wanting to go to... Is this the right place? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, wow, these guys totally threw me. I'm hearing footsteps behind me still. They're still following me. Ooh. Maybe they're new ones. All right. I'm not even sure where I am at the moment. Okay, this is the spot. Yep. Well, I get some peace and quiet in here. At least give me a chance to make a weapon, guys. Okay, so. Oh, crap, already. No, this is ridiculous. All right. I don't know, I'm stuffed. No, you can't be serious. <laughs> this is the worst start to a game I've ever had. All right, let's see if we can get out of this. This area seems to have changed a bit. All right, I'm going to try and run away from these guys. Probably run into some other horrible creature. Alright, how safe is it up here? Okay. So, well that was an interesting start. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit flustered. No! It followed me! That's crazy. He's off the edge. Oh no, they... they... climb. Stay away. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. Wow, something has changed a lot. Just give me a little bit of peace, just so I can figure things out. Okay. So I 
hopefully I can see them coming. All right. Uh, okay, I know all about this. Yes, I, I know about that. We get to second objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated in ah. the zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Okay. Oh, I like this. Note. We've got more slots. Every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Cool. Well. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. All right. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Well, thank you for that, Ada. Okay, good. Okay, I, yeah, I was so flustered, I completely lost myself. So, um, let's get these buggers. I actually have some health. Where are you, you sneaky bugger? So yeah, these new uh, B pods. Um, well, there's quite a few of them. Now, I'm not sure, but do they keep respawning the bees until you destroy the pod? Not a clue. Oops. Seems that way. Where are you? Okay, so the reason I like this area um, <laughs> is because there's iron right here. Three, was it three or four? Um, I feel like there used to be four, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's sort this guy out. Okay, cool. So that's how it works. Uh, if you get there fast enough, they don't even spawn the bees. So. Alright. So we have, yeah, it's, it, there are four. There's a uh, concrete node up there and there are two copper nodes in this direction one down here and one up at the top i think unless something's changed here as well i'm not sure i remember one being this low down but hey i accept geez i'm glad those I'm glad those things stopped following me Oof, that was pretty nerve-wracking okay um survived it nonetheless so let's immediately start with the iron um do i want to start with the iron or do i want to put my can i not build yet uh press v press v i'm pressing v ah scan for iron yeah, it's been a while since I played. It's showing me five notes. Why is I, why am I getting five? There's one, two, three. Seems like there's another one close by somewhere, but I don't really need it. What we do need is to get started. Because uh yeah, with that unexpected turn of events at launch and my my game was completely thrown okay i've got a lot of stuff i'm going to start by putting yeah i'll put the hub over here if i can okay i've scanned now okay so we still have to gather the resources fourth objective build the hub Right, that's exactly what I'm going to, to do. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Right. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will... Yep. 
This way. Good stuff. Right. Uh, Congratulations. You thank have you. unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression. Okay, I understand. So, to progress from here, we need to make iron rods. And we can do that by taking... How many How many do we need? Ten. Uh, let's... Okay, so we, we have our iron now. So we can come into the crafting bench. Um, we have to make the ingots first, uh, shift click, no, shift space, and it continuously builds. Right, the ingots are done, we're going to do some rods, we only need 10, so I'm just going to hold down the craft button and get 10. Reason for that is we might need the ingots for something else. Oh, got to get used to the buttons again. Double click that, upgrade. Sweet. Uh, upgrade 2 needs 20 and 10 plates. So let's do that. Um, Congratulations. You have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective. Complete hub upgrade 2. Note. Portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note. Multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Well, thanks for that, Ada. Select milestone. Add those in. Upgrade to up two. Super. Um, okay. Okay. So you can hit H to hide what's in your hand. And uh, you can hit H again to make it reappear. That's cool. Um, right. Upgrade three. Wait a minute, what have we locked? What have we unlocked? We've unlocked. Right. That, okay, so we're going to get the equipment workshop going. ASAP. Production. Equipment workshop. Workshop. Right. Over here. It's not a big deal. Most of this is going to move anyway. The starter base is going to be all over here. Wow, they've changed the sky. Okay, there is a new biome over in that direction where the Spire Coast used to be. It might be must still be called the Spire Coast. But I want to see now what do I need for a portable miner. There's a glitch. I need two more iron plates. Okay, so quickly go and grab some more iron ore. Right, we've got some iron ore and make some rods and plates. Oh wait, ingots first. Okay, I'm out of iron ingots again, but I have a nice stock of rods and plates. So I'm immediately going to get stuck into making some portable miners. Let's see how many we can. We can make 11. I don't need that many. I'm thinking maybe five to start with. I do need to get to the concrete as soon as possible. Ooh, I think I overdid it. Nope, five. Okay, good. So, which is our closest node? Okay, let's just go to this one because it's in the same direction. Okay, um, two to build. All oh, right, of course. Okay, so power, production. Nope. We're going to inventory, put that in our hand, there we go, and press, okay, we are going to put two down over here. Okay, great. We'll let those run and collect. Uh, I'm going to immediately go and put one down on the copper area. 
Actually, I think I'm going to put two down here. Right, off you go, boys. Look at these animations. This is an outstanding game. Absolutely stunning. Right. Um, we do have some stuff. So what we need, I think, was copper wire to get the next hub upgrade. I am crouch jumping because, well, it's the fastest way to get around. So I apologize for that. Okay, we're going to load up. And then we need 20 copper wire. Do you think I could get that? Ingots. Right, we have ingots. Now wire. We'll just turn it all into wire. I think that's enough. I think I only needed 20. So we are getting a few extras. Right, we're done. And across we come to here and boom, hub upgrade three done. Oh, hello, Bob. Congratulations. This is you have unlocked scanner feature limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Well, thank you, Ada. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay. Um, okay obviously, we're going to select that milestone. We need quite a lot more than what we've got, including cable and concrete. Uh, the concrete is over there, which means we need to get up there somehow. And in order to get up there, we need concrete. Do we? Um, unless they've changed it, there's a way to get up. Uh, that darn thing hatched. Alright, where are you little bugs? Oh, H, 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 oh goodness me, put in hand. Don't die. Okay, where are you? <gasps> so when you kill the nest, they all die. That's interesting. Let's grab some limestone. Um, I'm going to put our, our other miner up here. That's sorted out. Let's get our other miner in hand. Perfect. Oh yes, there's the the new biome. It looks really nice. Really, really nice. Right, I picked up the copper, so let's start the the cable uh, process. Grab the iron ore out of these. So, start with the copper. Okay, we have copper ingots, and we might as well craft the iron ingots. I hope that uh, you don't mind me cutting through this very quickly. Uh, there's no fun in just looking at these things getting crafted. Handcrafting is terrible. We will automate as soon as we can. Okay, I'm getting crazy bored doing this, so um, I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to go and pick up whatever limestone we have so we can make our concrete and finish the upgrade. Okay, back with the concrete, uh, with the limestone, so we'll just quickly sort that out. We only need 10, so I'm um, just now uh, let it run until 20. All right, good, now we, now, oh gosh, I've forgotten something, haven't I? Okay, so we need wire first, cable, we need 20, we can only make 19. I'm going to kind of make just enough cable we have the cable we have the concrete and iron plates we need 
and we need 75 of those so I suppose I'll be right back and plates are done let's go load them and plates cable concrete upgrade for complete and I've been upgraded you have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles inventory additional slots Ninth okay. objective, complete hub upgrade by, note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, yeah, when I agree. the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. All right, thanks, Ada. Okay, looks like we may have enough material to actually do this milestone. So, let's get it done. And in case you missed it, I'm pressing shift space while hovering over the craft so that I it just does it automatically. I don't have to hold the button. Super. Cable's done. Concrete is done. So, next upgrade. Okay, upgrade five done. So our hub has changed a bit. Bob's still walking around. Congratulations. You have unlocked building miner mark one building storage container hub feature additional biomass burner 10th objective complete hub upgrade six note there are no notes great okay it's a fair bit of stuff i'm gonna have to run around and collect the ores and process them so when i got the stuff i'll be back yep let's do this it took a little while to get that done and i probably should have already built the miners but hey you know i didn't but i did get a lot of stuff built so i have enough resources to start getting the building process going quickly hub upgrade six unlocked congratulations you have unlocked building space elevator building biomass burner part biomass motivational message congratulations you succeeded in every provided task on behalf of fix it incorporated i thank you for your current and future service additional knowledge the hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along fix it approved protocols note Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. The objective is to build the space elevator. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so, base building. I definitely want that. Don't have enough stuff yet. Not going to concentrate until I've got some automation set up. So. These are coming down. Okay, just pick it up and pick it up. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Right, I think I have enough material on me to build a Mark One miner. Now the question is, which way am I going to place it? Yeah, that should be good. Excellent. And let's see what else we can build. We have the constructor. We have the smelter. I do need to build a smelter. So we're just going to control click. Okay, and before I forget, these do need power. So we need to set up our power network. And we will do that by putting a pole in over. This is going to need its own pole. And then we're going to have to have a pole over here. All right. Cable to there, cable to there. Um, we don't have conveyor belts yet, do we? Logistics? Oh, we do. Awesome. Right. 
that's going straight into that. Did I put that the wrong way around? No, I didn't. Okay. This is going to make iron ore, it just needs power. It's going to make iron ingots. That's great. I think what we'll do is put a miner up there and bring yeah, bring the the limestone down and just for now we'll have the constructors on the ground. Alright. Now while I was being chased by those many, many ram pigs, I did manage to collect quite a lot of leaves and wood. So we can fire this up. But first, yeah, let's fire that up. Now this gives 20 megawatts. And I believe this gives another 20. We don't need them both yet because they do run continuously. Like, is it them that run continuously? Did I not set a... Okay, they haven't got this stuff yet. Okay, there we go. We should have a green light. Excellent. Um, let's see if we can dump that in. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So, we do need a lot of concrete. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a miner up top and I'm going to drag the belt down. Do I have enough for belts? Uh, possibly. Um, I don't have any more ingots, but they're coming. In fact, if we're going to automate, then we might as well automate. So, can't afford it. Oh, reinforced iron plate. Yeah, we're going to have to get that process set up. Okay, we'll get there. So first, can we afford another miner? We absolutely can. Okay, we're up. I, I do like that the health regens, um, because I haven't found any food yet. Okay, so we'll just pick up the miner. Then we will take... Mark one miner. Place it in that direction. Is that the right direction? Close enough. You can always change things as needed. So, conveyor. Where's the best place for it? Down here, maybe? Now we do need constructors for that, and for con with constructors we need two reinforced iron plate, which means we need screws. Um, let's grab that. Okay, reinforced iron plates. We need screws and plates. So let's start with the screws. That should be enough to get us going. Plates, right, and then we can do some reinforced iron plates. Fix that'll give us three constructors. Um, let's just check that we've got what we need. Uh, we do. We've got enough for three constructors, which means the very first one will be going in over here. Okay, I'm not worrying too much about recipes at the moment. And as you can see, I'm not too concerned about placement right now either. I want to get concrete going very quickly because 
we need a lot of concrete for what I'm planning to do because I don't really like to build on the ground too much. Are we looking here? Production. Oh, okay. So this only does what it needs to. Okay, so this only runs when it needs to run. And it's using nine, so yeah, we should probably think about getting the other one going. Let's grab another power pole. Actually, I'll just drag the cable. Okay, we're going to put another one over here. I know we're going to use it. Get another over here. And what am I missing? Yeah, I didn't hear any bad sounds, so power is still up. So that means that we can start. I'm going to have to get biomass burners going. But now that we've got constructors, we can make solid biomass, I think. Early Bob? No, no, no. Go run away. Run away. Run away. Go on. Okay, just don't jump off the cliff. So we have limestone coming down. This is set for concrete. Um, wait a minute. What are those recipes? I can make biomass. Okay, biomass is good. It's better than leaves. So we'll get to that. And then the last thing we need to do, which I think might close off this episode, this horrendous start that we've had, is we'll put another and we'll start making copper ingots so let's pick it up and pick that one up and we'll put the miner down um short of plates and just like that we're not short of plates anymore right now just in terms of recipes, I'm just going to put this down temporarily. So copper ingots, 30 and 30 out. That's that's fine. We can have the the smelter right here. Can I connect this? I'd be surprised. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. No, no, I, no. Nope, can't do that. Um, smelter, see if we can get a line. It's still a little steep, but at least it's in a straight line. All right. Got a power pole over here. I don't know why I keep using the poles instead of just dragging the cables. And I am missing concrete. Everything's still running. I have to say I'm a little surprised. Okay, maximum consumption right now is 18. So before I do anything else, I will need to start up the other one. But in the meantime, we do have some automation going on our very basic start. We have concrete being produced. We have iron ingots being produced. We have copper ingots being produced. We're okay. We're looking good. Uh, so, bit of a relief after the beginning of this episode. And we have storage as well. Okay. I'm going to have to start using that in the next episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this episode more than I did. It was a challenge, uh, something very interesting. Um, update 6 hasn't been kind to me so far. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure that uh, in the, the next playthroughs, it might take a couple of days for me to bring out another one. Uh, things will go better. Uh, I do have a handle in this game. I have played it before, so yeah. 
So, if you liked the video, give us a like, comment, um, subscribe if you want to see more, hit the bell icon for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, cheers.